Hello, Vin. Good afternoon. Hello, teacher. Yes, can you hear me well, Vin? A little chubby and small, but small. I can understand. Yes. Oh, yes, okay. So, can you please turn on your camera, Vin? I pray no because my camera, uh, my oh, I can turn off my camera and go. Oh, yes. Please, can Okay, Vin. Okay, so how about my screen? Can you see my screen? I see your screen, but it's very not clearly. Not clear. Okay, so can you access your Zalo account? I just locked down my Zalo account. Ooh. And I don't remember my password. Um, what about your mom's Zalo account? Can you open that? No, because my mom is uh, doing her work. I don't know what she is doing, but she is outside now, not in my house. In my yard. Yes. Okay, so how will I, how, what will we do with this one? Um... Okay, so I will just read the question for number one. How did the woman get to work today? Can you see the oh, teacher. Yeah? I think we done this before. Ah. Okay. How about this one, Vin? Uh, Part two. Yeah, I remember we did it too. I remember that. Okay. What about this one? Hotels in the national park? No, uh, we haven't done it yet. Okay, so we're going to continue with hotels in the national park. This is part three in the practice test of your listening skill okay so now vin i want you to listen to the audio and you're going to write your answers from number 14 to 19 here are you now ready to listen yes okay here it is now turn to part three questions 14 to 19. you will hear a recorded message about hotels in the national park for each question fill in the missing information in the numbered space you now have 20 seconds to look at part 3 Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. Thank you for calling the National Park Hotel Information Line. We're going to tell you about accommodation in Upton, Lakeside and Loughton. First in Upton is the three-star country house hotel, the Marston Hotel, which is in a wonderful position and is especially suitable if you enjoy walking. A double room will cost from £158, including meals. 
You can request a picnic lunch if you're going out on the hills all day. The phone number to ring is 0196 55 469. Our second choice in Upton is the Bristol Hotel, a one-star hotel with just seven rooms and set in its own pleasant gardens. A double room here is between 70 and 90 pounds, with dinner included. The phone number is 0196 55592. It's good value, but please note they are closed in January. In Lakeside is the two-star Ferndale Hotel. There are 15 rooms here, and the hotel is on a hill with a wonderful view of the lake. A double room here will cost from 130 to 220 pounds, although that does include use of the tennis courts. The phone number for the Ferndale at Lakeside is 0196 62 2635. The last of our National Park selection is at Loughton, just seven miles south of Lakeside. Here we recommend the three-star Fir Trees Hotel, which has already won two prizes for its English cooking. It has 20 rooms in all and is in a good position for touring in the National Park. A double room will cost £185 a night. The phone number is 01786 481 601. Thank you for calling the National Park Hotel Information Line. Okay, so do you now listen again. Thank you for calling the National Park Hotel Information Line. We're going to tell you about accommodation in Upton, Lakeside and Loughton. First in Upton is the three-star country house hotel, the Marston Hotel, which is in a wonderful position and is especially suitable if you enjoy walking. A double room will cost from £158, including meals. You can request a picnic lunch if you're going out on the hills all day. The phone number to ring is 0196 55 469. Our second choice in Upton is the Bristol Hotel, a one-star hotel with just seven rooms and set in its own pleasant gardens. A double room here is between 70 and 90 pounds with dinner included. The phone number is 0196 55 592. It's good value, but please note they are closed in January. In Lakeside is the two-star Ferndale Hotel. There are 15 rooms here, and the hotel is on a hill with a wonderful view of the lake. A double room here will cost from 130 to 220 pounds, although that does include use of the tennis courts. The phone number for the Ferndale at Lakeside is 0196 62 The last of our National Park selection is at Loughton, just seven miles south of Lakeside. Here we recommend the three-star Fir Trees Hotel, which has already won two prizes for its English cooking. It has 20 rooms in all and is in a good position for touring in the National Park. A double room will cost £185 a night. The phone number is 01786 481 601. Thank you for calling the National Park Hotel Information Line. Okay, so do you want to listen for again, Vin, or check your answer now? <laughs> yeah, check my answer. Okay, check your answer now. Yeah. Okay, so here, um, the Marston Hotel, it is good for people who like walking. Okay, if you ask, the hotel will make you a 
picnic lunch. Okay, then the Bristol, Bristol Hotel, the price includes dinners. Then the Fern, Ferndale Hotel, the good view of the lake. Then has won prizes for its English cooking. Then the price of a double room is eight one thousand eight hundred. I one hundred eighty five pounds a night. Why did you? I read that 185, but why it just 18, 18, 18. What did you say? I say that I have read 185, but it just appeared up 18. Ah, it's okay. That's not a problem, Bin. So for this one, you got one, two, three, four, five. Five out of six. Okay, so only you only have one mistake. So now, Vin, let's proceed with the transcript. Okay, can you please practice reading the transcript? Okay, woman, thank you for calling the National Park Hotel Information Line. We are going to tell you about accommodation in Upton, Lakeside, and Loughton. First, in Upton. Is the freestar uh is the freestar country house hotel the Maston Hotel, which is in a wonderful position and especially suitable if you enjoy working. A double room will cost from one hundred and fifty eight pounds, including meals. You can request a picnic lunch. If you are going on, if you are you going out on the hills all day, the phone number to ring is zero one nine six double five four six nine. Our second choice in Upton is the Bristol Hotel, a one star hotel with just seven room and set it its own pleasant gardens. A double room here between 80 pounds and 90 pounds. With dinner included, the phone number is 0196555592. In Lakeside is the two-star Ferndale Hotel. There are 15 rooms here in the hotel. It's on a hill with a wonderful view of the lake. A double room here will cost from one hundred and thirty pounds to two hundred and twenty pounds. Uh, although that does include use of the tennis court courts, the phone number for the Fundale at Lakeside is O one nine double six two two six three five. The last of our national park selection is at Lowtown. Lowtown, just seven miles south of Lakeside. Here we recommend the three star Fortis Hotel, which has already won two prizes for its English cooking. It has 20 rooms, and in all, in all, in it, is in a good position for touring in the national park. A double room will cost one hundred and eighty-five pound a night. The phone number is zero one seven eight six four eight one six zero one. Thank you for calling the national park hotel information line. Okay, so thank you for reading that one, Vin. So now, let's proceed with part four. It's questions 20 to 25. I want you to look at six sentences for this part. So you will hear a conversation between a boy, John, and a girl whose name is Louis. Then you decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. Then if it is correct, you can put a tick in the box under A for yes. And otherwise, if it is not correct, you put a tick in the box under B for no. Okay, so here's 
sentences 20 to 25 so one point each you will get five points if all your answers are correct so now vin let's listen carefully to this audio now turn to part four questions 20 to 25 look at the six sentences for this part you will hear a conversation between a boy john and a girl louise Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect. If it is correct, put a tick in the box under A for yes. If it is not correct, put a tick in the box under B for no. You now have 20 seconds to look at the questions for part 4. Now we are ready to start. Listen carefully. You will hear the recording twice. John! Oh, Louise, hi. I've just arrived for my singing lesson with Mrs. Thompson. What are you doing here? I've come for a singing lesson too. Well, if it's a secret, I won't tell anyone. It's okay, Louise. I'm going to be in a musical show, so everyone will know soon. Really? Can you actually sing, then? Well, I was taught to sing at school, you know. But now I'm in the show, I thought I'd better have a few more lessons. Good idea. What do you think of Mrs. Thompson? She's really strict, isn't she? She is. But I think if you want to sing properly, then she's the best teacher. You don't have to like her to see that she's really brilliant. Oh, I suppose so. It's just that she makes me feel so nervous. How did you get chosen for the show? Well, I went to see a few musical shows before Christmas. I don't know why, because I'd never really liked them before. And I thought, I'd like to do that. So I tried for a part in the show at the Regent Theatre and got it. Well done. So have you actually done a show yet? Yes, we've done a practice show just for family and friends. So how did you feel? Well, when we'd finished, I wanted to cry because I was so delighted that I'd actually got through it without making any big mistakes. But did people like it? Yes, they did. And it was great to have an audience. I would love to be able to sing and have everybody listen and clap. It's quite hard to do a musical show, actually. You have to dance as well as sing. It's hard work to get it right. Oh, I wouldn't be keen on that. I'm only a singer, really. When does the show open? On the 9th of October. Would you like a couple of free tickets? Oh, yes. Thanks. Okay, so now let's check your answer. Now listen again. Okay, let's... John! Oh, Louise, hi. I've just arrived for my singing lesson with Mrs. Thompson. What are you doing here? I've come for a singing lesson too. Well... If it's a secret, I won't tell anyone. It's okay, Louise. I'm going to be in a musical show, so everyone will know soon. Really? But can you actually sing, then? Well, I was taught to sing at school, you know. But now I'm in the show, I thought I'd better have a few more lessons. Good idea. What do you think of Mrs. Thompson? She's really strict, isn't she? She is. But I think if you want to sing properly, then she's the best teacher. You don't have to like her to see that she's really brilliant. Oh, I suppose so. It's just that she makes me feel so nervous. How did you get chosen for the show? Well, I went to see a few musical shows before Christmas. I don't know why, because I'd never really liked them before. And I thought, I'd like to do that. So I tried for a part in the show at the Regent Theatre and got it. Well done. So have you actually done a show yet? Yes, we've done a practice show just for family and friends. So how did you feel? Well, when we'd finished, I wanted to cry because I was so delighted that I'd actually got through it without making any big mistakes. But did people like it? Yes, they did. 
And it was great to have an audience. I would love to be able to sing and have everybody listen and clap. It's quite hard to do a musical show, actually. You have to dance as well as sing. It's hard work to get it right. Oh, I wouldn't be keen on that. I'm only a singer, really. When does the show open? On the 9th of October. Would you like a couple of free tickets? Oh, yes. Thanks. That is the end of part four. You now have six minutes to check and like musical shows that's no. John was pleased with the practice show that's correct. Then number twenty-five, Louise would like to dance at musical show. That's no. Okay, so very good because we've got one, two, three, four, six. Six out of six here, which is a perfect score sheet. So now Wien, let's uh practice reading the transcript. I will be Louise and you will be John. So, John. Hello, Vin. Hello, Vin. Hello, Vin. Can you hear me? Oh, sorry, teacher. You talk so small, so I can't hear anything. Ah, what about this one? Can you hear me now? Okay. Okay, so for this one, um, let's practice reading the transcript. I will read the part of Luis and it will be John. Okay, let's start. John. Oh, Luis, hi. I've just arrived for my singing lesson with Mrs. Thompson. What are you doing here? I've come for a singing lesson too. Well, if it's a secret, I won't tell anyone. It's okay, Louis. I'm going to be in a musical show, so everyone will know soon. Really? But can you actually sing then? Well, I was taught to sing at school, you know, but now I'm in the show. I thought I would be better a few more lessons. Good idea. What do you think of Mrs. Thompson? She's really strict, isn't she? She is, but I'm thinking if you want to sing properly, then she she's the best teacher. You don't have to like her to see she's brilliant. Oh, I suppose so. It's just that she makes me feel so nervous. How did you get chosen for the show? Well, I'm going to see a film musical show before Christmas. I don't know why. Because I would never really like them before, and I thought uh, and I thought I would like to do that, so I try for a part of the show at the Regent Theatre and got it. Well done. So have you actually done a show yet? Yes, we done a practice show just for family and friends. So how did you feel? <laughs> Uh, well, when we finish, I want to, to cry because I was so delighted that I would actually got through it without any big mistakes. But did people like it? Yes, they did. And it was great to have an audience. I would love to be able to sing and have everybody listen and clap. It, it's quite hard to do a musical show. Actually, you have to dance and sing. You have to dance as well as sing. It's hard to work, get it dry. Oh, ooh, I wouldn't be keen on that. I'm only a singer, really. When does the show open? On the 9th of October. Would you like a cup of free tickets? Oh, yes. Thanks. Okay, so thank you for doing the part of John, John Vin. So far, you did great in reading this one. You are a great reader and all your pronunciations are good. So do you have any question to me regarding uh, the dialogue between Louis and John?
Do you have any question regarding the dialogue, Vin? No. No. Okay. So since you don't have question, I will be the one to ask you a question. How to do the musical show according to John? Mm. I don't really remember that, but I think that I Okay, so according to John, you have to dance as well as sing. And to make it right, you need to do I to work hard. Yeah, so that's it. So now, Vin, since we're done with our listening and we still have so much time, we're going to proceed with another unit or another lesson for tonight. Okay, so now, Vin, we will have a practice test for reading and writing. So, this is PET, uh, pet 3, test 3 in our reading and writing. So, reading and writing is divided into five parts. Part 1, it is three option multiple choice. So, you have choices from A, B, C. Then, part 2, it's about matching. Then, 3, part 3, it's true or false. So for uh, part four and five, uh, there is four option multiple choice. This is um, from A, B, C, D. So I think this is quite easy be because there's multi there's choices. Okay, so here in part one, Vin, it's questions one to five. I want you to look at the text in each question. Then you're going to answer what does it say? Okay, so you mark the correct letter A, B, C on the screen. So before that, let's re let's learn first the words from our vocabulary. We have here breakdown. So this is a phrasal verb that means to stop working because of a fault. Okay, or you can also uh, we can we can also have the definition of breakdown like. Uh, breakdown mentally, emotionally, so that means that you got an anxiety attack. Okay, so next, we have stressful. It is an adjective that means causing a lot of anxiety and worry. For exa example, my job is really stressful, so it gives you lots of worry. Okay, when I'm working, it doesn't give me, it doesn't give me the, the feeling of being at ease. Okay, so do you understand breakdown and stressful, Vin? Yeah? Okay. Yes? yes. Do you? Okay, so now I want you to give me an example of breakdown. Mm, let me think. Yeah. Example to describe it. Uh, for example, our teacher break down. Okay, so that means that your teacher is not um, feeling well and she stopped working because there's something wrong with it. Okay, so next, what about stressful? Can you please give an example for this one, Vin? Uh, my brother is very stressful after the test. 
Okay, that's it. Very good. So next, we have interval. This is a period of time between two events. Okay, so for example, our class is 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. I know, 5 p.m. to 5.45 p.m. So what's the interval of that? I don't know. How do I put this one as an example? Interval, a period of time between two events. Okay. So for example, tomorrow I'm going to attend a wedding in the morning. And in the afternoon, I'm going to attend a birthday party. So the interval is I'm just free at lunch, which is lunchtime. So that is my interval, a period of time between two events. Okay, so next we have inform. This means to tell somebody about something, especially in an official way. For example, I'm planning to leave uh, or to have my vacation next month. So, um, what's that? Ahead of time, I message my training manager in Pantado and inform her to allow or to give me permission to leave next month for just two weeks. Okay, so that is the act of informing. I inform, which is I tell my training manager about my leave for two weeks. Okay. Okay. So next, we have here refreshment. When you say refreshment, this is a noun. That means drinks and small amounts of food that are provided or sold to people in a public place or at a public event. For example, Vin, you bought a ticket for musical show. So when you enter by the gate, there's uh, free drinks or refresh uh, a drink. They offer you a drink, just uh, a lemonade yeah, yeah, just a lemonade. So that lemonade is what we call a refreshment. Uh, okay. Yeah. You didn't pay for that because it was included in the ticket. Mm. Yes. Okay, so now, Vin, can you please repeat all the words from our vocabulary? Uh, okay. Breakdown. Stressful. Interval in form with refreshment. Okay, so do you understand all these words, Vin? Uh, no. Okay, so do you have any oh. questions to me? Uh, no. Okay, what, what word here that you don't understand? I don't understand. Oh, no, I don't. I not understand. I understand all the word. Okay, that's it. Very good. So now, Vin, let's proceed with part one. So example for this is no bicycles against glass, please. So this means do not leave your bicycle touching the window. Okay, you're just going to read all the signage. And you choose which, uh, which phrase from A, B, C that have the same winning, meaning with the signage. Okay, so here, I want you to read number one. Mm, okay. From Roberto to Sam. Sorry, I missed you yesterday, but... Oh no, I'm not in at all next week, but the following Thursday is fine. Why not see if what is this name called? Stevens. Stevens? Yeah. Three as well. Okay, so Roberto is suggesting that A, Stevens is unavailable for a meeting next week. Or B, he will join Sam in a meeting next Thursday. Or C, Sam should invite Steven to their next meeting. So what's your answer? A, B, or C? 
Let me see. Okay, this is letter C. Very good. So what about number two, Vin? Can you please read number two? Need to relax after our journey. Car broke down, fixed down. At this hotel until 16, then staying overnight with Anna on, way, on the way home. Oh, okay, this is from Kay and Brian. So what does it mean? A, Kay and Brian found their drive to the hotel stressful. Or B, Kay and Brian's car needs to be repaired before they leave. <coughs> or C, Kay and Brian <coughs> drive straight back after their <coughs> Is that I a? A. Okay, this is A. They found their drive to the hotel very stressful. Okay, so for number three, Vin, can you please read? Welcome to. Okay. <coughs> Welcome to Green Hill School. A visitor to report to school office on first floor. Yeah, what does it mean? A, staff must tell the of office when they arrive. B, people visiting the school should inform the office. Or C, school reports are available in the office. Mm -hmm. I choose uh, C. Okay, this is letter B. People visiting the school should inform the office. Okay, so what about number four? I want you to read this one bit. Okay. Uh, Tim, no more ex left. So uh, I will collect some at the farm. Let's buy bread in town and tell Megan to get a salad ready tonight. Okay. So what does the mother of Tim wants him to get some? A, salad, B, bread, or C, eggs? I choose B. Okay, that is bread. Very good. Okay, what about in the last number? Evening performance, refreshments are served only during the interval. Okay, so what does it mean? A, snacks are available before the performance. Or B, help yourself to drinks after the performance. Or you can have a drink during the break. Is that A, B, or C? Uh. I should say. Okay, very good. That's correct, Vin. So for part one, you got four out of five. Okay, great. So now, Vin, let's proceed with part two. Please wait. Okay, so here it is, part two. So here in part two, it's question six to ten. So you will get five points if all your answers are correct. So the people below are all on holiday in Sydney. Australia. On the opposite page, there are descriptions of eight places to visit. So you will decide which place from letter A to H would be the most suitable for each of the following people from number 6 to 10. So for the question 6 to 10, you can match the letter from A to H on the screen. Okay. So here, before that, Vin, let's learn the words from our second set of vocabulary. We have invention. This is a thing or an idea that has been invented. For example, uh, in your subject science, your teacher told you to invent or to create thing or to create a product on your own. So you planned or you decided to create, for example, um, charger, like mobile phone chargers, this is not yet uh, invented during that time. So you plan to, to, in, to create a charger. So in that way, you are in the process of invention and you invent, invented a charger. Do you get it? Yes. Okay, so next we have scientific. It is an adjective involving science connected with science. That's why we call this one scientific. This is a method in which we connect it with science. All of the methods that we use are based on science. Okay, next we have inhabitant. It is also a noun. That means a person or an animal that lives in a particular place. Okay, so what's the example for this one? 
Ah, okay. Monkeys. Mm. Monkeys are inhabitant in our country because they live in a particular place here. And monkeys are very popular in Philippines. Yes. So, ways for the words in our vocabulary, we have invention, scientific, and inhabitant. Do you have any question with those words, Vin? No. Okay. So, since you don't have any question, let's proceed with another words we have here continent when you say continent is just like a globe in the globe you can see different countries we have north america asia europe middle east africa south america that's it caribbean south pacific ocean antarctica yeah so this is the continent it's all about the world okay so we have here masterpiece. When you say masterpiece, it is a noun. Ooh, that means a work of art, such as a painting, film, or book. Those are excellent or the best example of the artist work. So for exa example of masterpiece is, I cannot, I cannot think of any example for this one. Wait. Um, Okay, uh, for example, um, the book of I Know What You Did Last Summer. So there, when I read the review, they said that it was an excellent story and the story is very good. It ends well. So every chapter is very good. So that is an example of masterpiece. It's not just a book. It can be film or even painting. Yeah. Masterpiece. Then, um, every masterpiece, there is an artist. Because you cannot create a masterpiece if there's no artist. So, the one creating the masterpiece is what we call artist. Do you got it, Vin? Yes. Okay, great. So next we have space station. This is what it looks like. I cannot describe it. Yeah, because I haven't tried to go there in the space. Maybe only astronauts. But this is how a space look like. A space station look like. It is, the, it, it is in our outside world. And only the astronauts can explain it. Okay, so now Vin, what time is it? 6.44. So it's almost time. So we will just end here and continue next time with part okay. two. Okay, so do you have any question or any clarification to me, Vin? No. Okay, so thank you for joining our class. I hope to see you next week, Thursday. Goodbye, Vin. Goodbye, Joe. Bye.